I know you do. I tell y'all every 24 hours that men expect you to have no standards if you're fat and then not only that but until you lose weight you deserve nothing and they will have no problem telling you that let's spill the tea real quick okay <laughs> like let's spill the tea my experiences from dating are way more different than theirs i'm a trans girl like men honestly like it's so rare that you ever even find a guy that's being like let me take you out let's go see a movie let's go have dinner no they're just trying to f I don't want to get married and have a family. I want to get trains rain on me and run red lights. I don't understand, I know two ways. I don't know anything but two ways. Christianity, hoism. Christianity, hoism. I'm a fetish. Want... I'm a fetish to like 98% of the guys, mm. you know? So my thing right now is like, okay, yeah, sexually I can probably have whatever the guy I want to. You sure but <laughs> no, honestly, like there has not. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Like, if I genuinely like that guy, or if I like, like, if I'm attracted to them sexually, like, there's I'm 90, like 95% of the time, I'll get it. However, I'm getting to a certain age now, like a level of maturity, where it's like, okay, sex is just sex at this point. May the only tears you shed in 2023 come from gagging on ding -a -ling. I forgot what you guys' obesity. Y'all talk so much shit about America being so fat. And then I looked at you guys' obesity, England's stats, and I was like, you guys are not much better. What's that? It's like... Well, there's fat people over here. Yeah, yeah. What do you mm. expect, though? Is that a more recent we're, thing, though? We're in a cold country, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> so I can't do anything. We're in a cold country. Nah, man. Listen, if I, I was living in a hot country, I won't eat that much. <laughs> nah, it's not that, man. I think, like, you the said, heat like. don't make me eat. When I go on holiday. That's I'm because you live in a cold country, though. But there you go. But it's if you country. lived in a hot country, your body would be used to it. So what? you probably you would I'll eat. eat as well. Same thing. Yeah, you would. Nah. Yeah, 60% 60, no. 60 of women are overweight or obese, where it's 70% mm -hmm. in the US. So I was like, yeah, the UK's thinner. But you know what? It's just... Sorry, y'all, my pussy itch. So like, I was younger and if I was heartbroken or if I was upset or hurt over someone, the only way in my experience to forget about that person, make sure you didn't text that person again was to get a rebound. And sometimes it would be beneficial because the rebound would make you realize if you really did miss that person. Yeah. And like, then you could go back to them. The self healing, everyone's fine. Everyone like, says yeah. you just need to stay single by yourself. I don't know. You completely disagree with that. Yeah. Right, because they all say in order to get over somebody, you got to get under somebody. How's that working out for your body count? Oh, no hookups. Oh, I'm not interested in something casual, okay? One night stands just aren't my thing, all right? I'm not here to play games. I'm looking for something serious. By the way, I have two kids and I'm a great mom. Honeys? Honey, honeys? <clears throat> Ugh. So yeah, I, I, I bring a lot to the table when I'm eating dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I cannot believe I forgot to mention dating apps when you're talking with a guy and then you feel the need to like kind of call yourself out and you're like, just so you know, like I'm a bigger girl. And then they try to like argue with you about it being like, no, you're not, you look great. Like, well, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not asking you to like convince me that I'm not. I'm telling you that I am, I know that I am. Sir, I weigh more than you. So I just need to make sure that you're okay with that. Are you aware that you match with a fatty? Let me know. Sometimes they just unmatch you and you're just like, Pain. <laughs> All right, so the reason I put these two subjects together is because I'm starting to realize that bigger women sometimes have the highest body counts. Roughly two out of three U.S. adults are overweight or obese, and the overweight prevalence for women aged 20 years and over in the United States is over 41%. And then the overweight women are complaining about men not taking them seriously when the value women can truly provide to a man is her beauty and being fit, feminine, and innocent. Yes, cooperative, but innocent means that they don't have a lot of experiences with men and body counts that are out of this world. Because high body counts hurt women in the long run. And they're playing a losing game because they're letting the women who are ugly, the ugly feminists, influence them that they need to be like men. They're going out, sleeping around, 
making their own money, delaying motherhood, women are trying to be like men and are losing out here. A woman is more attractive if she has been more selective, has had more self-respect, and hasn't been around the block multiple times. Men want a woman that is hard to get. This is what modern feminists have wrong. So a woman's beauty is the same as a man's money because what men bring to the table is resources. What women bring to the table is beauty, and I am sorry if you are offended by this, but weight is a component of that for a high-value man. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, subscribe, and like for continuous content.